What's going on everybody? This is your boy Preston and today we're going to be reacting to 1C Entertainment and it's basically um, a channel where it tells horror stories but animation style. So the first one I'm going to, I, I'm, I'm just going to be real. I've seen most of these but I'm just going to do a reaction to them and just react like the first time how I, how I reacted when I first seen them. But the first one I'm doing is a creepy guy breaks into my house horror animated. So let's get into it. I am a 19 year old male and this happened many years ago when I was very young. To give you an idea of the layout of our house back then, the living room has multiple windows that directly look out onto the back garden. There's a big gate in our driveway to stop anyone from getting in. Next to the living room is the kitchen, which also has more windows but also the back door. This will be relevant to the story. So my mother was completing the household chores as she does one day. I was sitting in the living room watching television on the sofa with my back to the living room windows. All of a sudden, I saw a figure reflecting off of the picture frame hanging on the wall opposite the window. I asked my mom if my dad was back from work to which she said no. I'll never ever forget the look of horror on her face when I told her that yes he was. He's in the garden. She looked outside the window and almost had a heart attack when she saw a scruffy looking but fairly built man outside the living room window. That's didn't fucking seem to crazy. Face him at all though. He psychotically smiled at my mother through the glass and my mom asked him what he was doing on our property. He said nothing, with the same sadistic smirk on his face. She said that she was going to call the police, and what he said is one of the scariest things I've ever heard. He screamed at my mother through the glass that if she even got her phone out, that he would break the glass. She did not know what to do. She paused. That's a very fucked up situation to be in, bro. To next, how to keep us both safe. She wanted to protect me by calling the police, but she also didn't want him to hurt me if she did try to call them. As soon as he saw that she was terrified, he ran for the back door. Luckily, it was locked because my mom has always been a paranoid person, so she always locks the doors. <laughs> He screamed at her to let him in, or if she didn't, he'd find a way in and kill us both. Wow. My mother told him to fuck off, which enraged him, and he pulled out a pocket knife and began bashing hard against yeah, that's, the windows. Yeah, that's fucking great to say with the fucking goofy ass as I just motherfucker that was trying to break into the house. I was very young. My mom frantically grabbed me, and I don't mean picked me up. She literally grabbed me off the sofa and booked it up the stairs. We were backing up in the upstairs hallway, looking for anywhere to hide, when my mom's younger brother popped out of his room with his headphones on. My mom didn't even realize he was home, and he clearly didn't hear the commotion downstairs because of his headphones. My uncle was 25 at the time and was really well built. He's intimidated a lot of people. My mom cried and told him that there's a guy who's trying to break in. While she's telling him this, that creepy lunatic screamed from downstairs that he was in the house. He said cynically, Boogeyman is coming out to get you, which really freaked oh, me out. Oh, fuck that. It freaked me out so much that I actually remember oh, that to hell this no. day. Anyway, since the guy didn't know my uncle was home, Bitch, you ain't Michael Myers. Get the fuck out of here. us to come out and that it wouldn't be painful. My uncle told us to lock ourselves in the bathroom and call the police. We did. And after five minutes of groaning and blatant violence downstairs, the police stormed in and found the guy bloody Damn. My uncle on top of him, beating him mercilessly. My uncle really didn't hold my Uncle back. wasn't playing no Turns fucking out games. That he was a known pedophile, which is why he was watching me for so long while I was watching TV. After that day, my mom was terrified to be home. My uncle wasn't house. playing no fucking games. I loved it as a child because I found the running and hiding fun. Obviously, because I was young. I can never thank my uncle enough for being there at the right time when my mother clearly forgot that he was still home. 
It honestly gives me chills, wondering what he would have done to my mother and myself if my uncle was not there. Well, guys, that was a great story. A little bit fucked up and creepy. You can never trust who's out there. You can never... You just gotta be careful. At night, lock your doors. Always remember to lock your doors. But that's gonna be it for me. And stay tuned for the next episode of these horror stories. Because I'm gonna be posting a lot more. And I'm gonna be reacting to all of these. And I think there's... There's... um Last time I checked, there was like 500 of these stories. And I've seen half of them, like I said earlier. But I'm gonna make a playlist dedicated to this channel and my of my reactions to it and then i'll post them on here but without further ado thanks for tuning in and i will see you guys in the next one